thoughts are too big Can I get some comfort please? I guess I should have been honest A break to my heart It's weighing me down baby I'm like a river that's overflowed The sooner you know it the less do we hurt Let me speak the truth Hey guys, we're back home and you're here with the Castaway Couple. You think it's too late, but I can see past the rain. Welcome back. <laughs> I know that originally we promised you a lot of shorts and a lot of uh, video content while we were on our trip to visit our home in the Philippines. So, first impressions. Do you want to start us off on our first impressions? First impression from afar when we arrived, it was beautiful mm. like the house looks really amazing but then as soon as we um, drove inside we noticed a lot of um, imperfections especially the detailing well, of the house not so much of the house primarily the two biggest issues that we really had were by far the cabinetry and the finish of the bathrooms right so everything else to be honest with you was quite spectacular so as Jan mentioned you know, approaching the home, the design, the colour scheme, the way that the exterior was painted and the way that it was done, the gardening, was absolutely phenomenal. But the biggest issue that we really had with this home was the level of finish of the cabinetry and the level of finish of the bathrooms in terms of ceiling and silicon. Um, and to be honest with you, with a lot of the content that we had planned for this trip and for our vlog, um, it got pushed to the sidelines a little bit because as soon as we got there I basically just couldn't deal with the level of finish and the quality that was handed over to us and we just hit the ground running and just started work like crazy so I basically started pulling apart all the cabinetry inside the house and um, we called the engineer back and thankfully to our surprise um, he was very cooperative, wasn't he? Yes. Um, was <clears throat> not like most engineers that would probably run away or once they get paid, they're gone and they just disappear and they don't call back. He was basically, he admitted that yes, um, it's not up to scratch. And one of the reasons was, especially because we weren't there, he said that he's willing to come back and fix up everything that needs to be fixed until we're happy and satisfied with the home. So I guess we can consider ourselves lucky in that regard. And also because the point that we mentioned, the fact that we weren't there to supervise the build, I guess he wasn't really familiar with the level of standard and quality that we're right. accustomed to here in the West. That's right. Um, so I think that played a really big role in the level of finish when it comes to the cabinetry because they're, they're simply not used to this. And in saying that, a very good example would be, you know, your family. I mean, your parents have visited the place, Kuya Louie, Leia, your sister, nieces, mm -hmm. nephews. None of them mention about any um, flaws, like any, um, like, like, um, was this defects? Or, uh, I mean, not defects, like imperfections of the details. Mm. None of them mention or inform us that this doesn't look good. To them, like um, to them, it was it was fine until we mentioned that this is not the way it's supposed to be, and then that's the time when we were there. They noticed that yes, it's quite like weird looking. And that's just one of the things that you embrace as a part of moving to the Philippines, and um, the fact that I knew that I could get it to a better standard with the materials and the products that are available there. And the fact that we were lucky enough to have the finances to be able to remodel and, you know, redo some of those small things, that's basically what we did. Um, that's, that was just a quick reno. Like basically a quick reno, right? So this, <laughs> yeah, the three weeks that we spent there, we hit it pretty hard, so we had no rest. The first week we got pretty sick as well, yeah, so we, we came down with a fever, flu. coughs, we had a bit of a flu. Um, <coughs> So, but we didn't let that deter us, it didn't stop us, so we basically redid the bathrooms and we redid the cabinetry. Now, even at this stage after we've left, the engineer promised that he would stay back and make sure mm -hmm. that he finishes, especially now that we've set that benchmark, you know, we work mm -hmm. together, so 
I basically bought edge banding and melamine boards because originally we wanted that timber cabinetry look. Mm. So we laminated the most visible parts of the carcasses black and then we bought melamine board, cut all the melamine board to the millimeter and basically redid all the drawers and the, the faces of the cabinetry doors and all that sort of stuff. Bench tops as well. And bench tops. So we got new bench tops, new sinks and replaced it all. Um, showers, yeah. New showers, new tiles in the bathrooms and now honestly it looks it looks fantastic and mm. it's it's turned out better than the original concept and the original design that we had. So we've got nice grey like dark charcoal pebble tiles in the shower which is what I love. It's all textured, it's nice and rough, it's not slippery. We've got PVC panels on the walls. Yeah, and we've kept our original marble design on the Amazingly the, the workers are doing a great job because yeah. they're being guided and supervised. And um, yeah, it's surprisingly, it came out really, really uh, beautiful. Really good, that's right. And it's not a mat, so if you're planning a build in Philippines, yes, it definitely pays to be there, right? Um, but it's not, the way that things are done there, it's not due to a lack of, I'd say, skill. I'd say it's more due to a lack of knowledge and the ability to implement the materials that they have there they just don't know the methods and the ways, the means in which you can achieve such a nice look um, with everything that's available there in the Philippines. You can get anything. You can get edge banding, which is what we did to our cabinetry. You can get laminate. You can get pre-finished malamine board. Um, you can get everything. There is no shortage, especially when we were walking around Wilcon and Bredeth and City, Emerald, Hardware. City Hardware. Delta Steel. Delta Steel, that's right. The level of and the amount of products that are available are just it's up here honestly the tiles mm. are even better than anything you can find here in Australia they have the gear it's just that some of the laborers don't really know or understand how to implement trimming and how to implement all that sort of stuff to really achieve the level of finish you can here in the West but once they're shown once you set that benchmark the guys were doing a fantastic job as yeah. good if not better than what I was doing they cut everything to the millimeter like it, it honestly they achieve perfection so now hopefully that we left them with that benchmark and that level of finish that we expect it appears that they're able to do exactly what we want um, and I think we can rest assured that they will get it to that level and that you know when we come back we're going to have a home even more beautiful than what we originally intended to have so in a way it was Frustrating. Frustrating. But also like a blessing in disguise because now it's really, it's amped it up to a completely new look than what we originally had. Um, it what we originally gets had better planned, and so. better from the original um, design. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing that you'll find in the Philippines. There's going to be a really big disconnect between what you consider acceptable and what they consider acceptable they're vastly different and that's something that you really have to set before you start building now luckily enough everything else in the house was within what five to ten percent of what you'd expect here at home in Australia you know the painting isn't horrible the skim coating isn't bad all the exterior stuff was good now they build with concrete we build with stud or steel frames so of course all our cement shading is going to look a lot nicer mm. masonry construction compared to stud frame construction is also wildly different so you're not going to have the straightest walls you're not going to have the perfect plastering job like you do you know in america australia canada and any western country so that's something that you have to contend with and something you already have to have in the back of your mind like yeah there's going to be a bit of a bow here and there you're going to have you know nothing's going to be perfectly square or straight it gets close but just the level of finish it's a little rougher but it still looks good. It's just like a textured wall. So that's something that we have actually no problem with. And the coloring was beautiful. You know, all the grays, the whites, the blacks that were painted mm. remarkably. Um, it looks great. It was just the cabinetry and the bathrooms and just the finishing of the tiles and all that sort of stuff was horrible. But the mm. rest of the house, all the dining areas, everything else, like your lighting, I can't tell the difference between this house and that. It's, it's perfect. So yeah. I guess it's something you have to consider now. Maybe some of you will be going, well, see, that's your fault for not being there. Well, all I can say is we're not retired. Worth so the risk. 
we we had to stay in Australia and keep working so that we mm. could afford to send the money there to do it. Now, when it comes to how much more we had to spend, in the grand scheme of things, it's it's still only peanuts compared to what we're paying here in Australia for this house and how much house prices are worth here in Australia. It's not even comparable. So still, even we had to outlay more money and do some back jobs, it doesn't compare to how much you pay for a home here. So do I think it's still worth it? Yes, absolutely, I think it's still worth it. And honey, just... Or the, did we regret it? Did we regret it? No, we absolutely don't regret it. We have something that's even more beautiful than what we originally intended. And... Greater plans. It's, it's paid off. Just that feeling that when we walked into the home and we just thought like we own this, this is mm. ours, there's no mortgage. No mortgage, no mortgage, fuck the bank, no mortgage, no mortgage, there's no mortgage. Who paid this house? Nobody, it's for free cause I own it, no mortgage, fuck you Australia. But that's the beauty of it, like it's a paid house, it's not the perfect house that we want it to be, like how we lived here in our home in Australia, but it's quite good. It will be now. This is something you'd probably expect in a normal build no matter where you are, not just the Philippines. Everywhere you go there's a redo or there's something you didn't think about or there's a mistake here and there. There's always going to be something like that when it comes to building mm. construction or something that you're not satisfied with, just things you didn't think through. So does this really put us off living in the Philippines? No, because I can guarantee you if I built a house here it would be the same thing. We would have gone, oh, we should have done mm. that differently, or they, that's not quite right. We've got to call the builder back. I've heard plenty of horror stories here alone in Australia where builders have, you know, packed up shop or they've half built the Contract is done, under, finished. Or not even. They don't satisfy the contract. They just file for bankruptcy and they run away and people are left houseless, mm. you know, with all the timber exposed to weather and rotting and away. And finished house. And, you know, so. I don't think the country or the place really matters. It just depends on the people that you work with. you're working with and how you approach defects and basically your response to these defects and how you choose to go about rectifying them. So, you know, we spoke to our builder. We basically told him that we're not satisfied with the cabinetry in the bathrooms. It has to be redone. Uh, it's just not good enough. He was honest and respectful enough to come back, bring his guys back mm. and work through a solution with us mm. together to make it the most efficient and effective as possible so we didn't have to go ripping cabinetry off the mm. walls. And the lamination process really satisfied what we were wanting to do, you know. Mm. It For the entire three, three weeks we were there, they were also staying with us yep. and it made us like, you know, it. it gave us time to uh, get to know them and you know bond with them and yeah. they understood us how um, how we felt who we are you know like yeah. they they promise and commit that they will finish it which is I'm looking forward to yeah. uh, see the finishing line like uh, I mean in about two or one week yeah one or two weeks like I said there's really not that much to do um, we all worked hard together, so in total there was five of us. There was me, the engineer, and three, three skilled, workers. skilled workers. And once they were shown what to do, they did it to perfection. As, as good as what I would expect and as good as I could do it, like I said, if not better. So, I think the scale and the grandeur of the property is exactly what we exactly what envisioned. we imagined it's what yeah it's what we envisioned and we're really wrapped with it you know every night there's lightning there in the sky we mm. go on the rooftop and we just enjoy well we didn't enjoy much we worked much of the time but what we could enjoy we thoroughly did enjoy um, and if you ask the question does this deter us from moving to the Philippines absolutely not no way it's, it's just a challenge it's a challenge just like anything in life it's just like any bill just like any mm. venture but it's still our dream and we're pursuing it passionately we will stay with our course yep stay the course and see it through and it's absolutely going to be worth it mm. um, I can't describe to you just the level of freedom that you feel walking out you know onto the terrace and onto your lawn and just looking out at the bay and seeing that gorgeous view and just thinking to yourself like I don't have to pay for this ever again 
I'm paying a little bit now, yeah, because I've got things to do, and of course mm. there are expenses while you're still getting the place up to scratch. But our our funds, which we um, initially planned to furnish everything, like dining table, like mm. a lunch area, like all this stuff, went for a quick renovation. Like we we fund our funds were um, exhausted to for a remodel. Uh, yeah, to remodeling. Which took a bit of time, but mm. in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's nothing. So, it's very close to done and it really feels worth it. I just, it's amazing to feel that weight come off your shoulders when you're there and you just know that you have no payment coming out mm. next week or the next fortnight or the following month. You know, you don't feel that squeeze of your employer around your neck going, you've got to come back and get a yeah. paycheck, otherwise your whole life collapses around you. It's 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 like <laughs> even when I saw the cabinetry in the bathrooms and I thought to myself like ick like mm. eh, what the f is this but then I thought but hang on it's gonna cost me another you know 50 60 70 thousand pesos and it's going to be mm. perfect and that's it like I don't know honey I really the the feeling of just release and mm. relief and just looking at the beauty of the nature surrounding us and we met all our neighbors the community yes. that we have is that's another fantastic. remarkable we um, met adam and jane as well which was like a surreal feeling i had like fanboy killing because i'm like <laughs> holy crap i've actually met the guy that i've been watching he's like really nice guy really nice family and um neighbors are really nice too. Yeah, they're very yeah. welcoming to us yeah you know I think every neighbor that we spoke to, they all had problems with their house. They all had something that they didn't like, something that just wasn't mm. finished properly, you know, and we've seen some of their houses and indeed, none of it is perfect, um, but it's, it's, it's our own, it's their own. You mm. have it, you own it, and that's just one thing that you live with in the Philippines. And if you're really striving for that ultimate perfection, then you probably don't belong in the Philippines because it's, it's, you're not going to achieve it, even if you're there, Everybody has complained about something. So the homes are beautiful enough as they are, you know, and, and the beauty is in the freedom and in the liberty that you get from being able to just live everyday life, you know, just being able to go outside and enjoy your property, enjoy what you're doing without having the constant thought in the back of your mind where oh, I've got to pay for this, I have to earn an income, I've got to pay for this, this, you know, I still owe the bank, I still I have to go to work, I've got to earn more money. It's the most liberating feeling in the world. So to everybody out there, old or young, it's worth it. If you have the means and the ability to do something like this, whether it be Philippines, any other country, you know, if you're thinking of leaving the West and leaving the rat race, just do it. Stop thinking about it, find a way and just do it if you're able to you know do your best and you're going to have obstacles you're going to have things go wrong along the way but you can't lose sight of what it is that you truly want most in life and if that's freedom if that's liberty if that's a simple life if that's being able to live off grid and grow your own food and just you know be your own human and not have any ties or not have any um superficial overlords you know um then what are you waiting for it's completely worth it and honestly we would do it over and over again despite everything that we've experienced everything that we've felt all the anger the disappointment the joy you know every emotion that we felt along the way it is 100 worth it and we would do it again so guys if you have any questions or if there's anything that you'd like to share about your experience building in the philippines or if you're hesitant if you're feeling like oh this has put you off then let us know in the comments below and hopefully we can help to inspire you or you know give you a little bit more insight as how you can avoid certain things and how you can avoid certain issues um, as you can see, we're nearly at the end of the process and the house hasn't fallen apart. It's standing strong. Everything's looking great. It just needs a little push to get it to that level of perfection or to that 98, 99%. It's not far off. And if we can do it remotely from Australia, then there's no reason why you can't do it too. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the video and stay with us because we've got a lot more coming and this isn't the end. This is only the beginning of our adventure. Stick with us, join us, and I hope that you enjoyed this session with the Castaway Couple. Bye for now. See you guys.